Why'd you take me to a bookstore? It's like the library, but all the books are new. Do I look like a bitch who reads? Not even Harry Potter? It's like coming of age relatable and stuff. There's no Percocet in Harry Potter. How's it relatable? Hey, Nicole. Didn't know you read here, too. We had to stop in the graphic novel section. Do you know him? Not really, but I'll take care of it. So are you reading some manga with your friend there? Oh, she's not my friend. She's my girlfriend. Girlfriend? But you're... Hold on. Do you have a problem with two lesbians going to a bookstore as opposed to literally anything else? No, it's good to be yourself. You guys are just a little different, like me. We are nothing like you. And why's that? Because while you're beating off to your little anime book, we're going to get fucked up on whippets and make out. Hey, that was completely uncalled for. Wow, don't freak out when someone makes up a joke about you. It'll make people think it's real. But I have done that to my manga. She shouldn't act like it's wrong, though. Oh, God. Shouldn't have helped him. I've seen him around before. I didn't know he was fucked up like that. By the way, I started a YouTube channel. You guys want to see it? No, we gotta go by Whippets. I never tried Whippets. Do they taste bad? And then the counselor got so weird, he called my mom and told her I might have schizophrenia if I ever mentioned he was a pedophile. And what'd your mom say? She believed him. We had like an hour-long fight over it. Right, honey? Right, honey? Dude, I said don't call me that in public. Oh, I thought it was don't say it in private. If I didn't want it in private, why would I want it in public? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm still getting used to your boundaries and everything. Boundaries? I didn't know you're dating a marriage counselor. What's up, queers? Nicole. Dude, he's not going to do anything. Heard you guys were dating now. What are you, special or something? Why do you care? Tired of hoes like you always looking for attention. Find one other person in this room who cares. No one's falling for this bullshit like you think they are. Hey, Hunter. What's up? They're saying they're gay now. That's fucking dumb, right? Uh, Obama might be president soon. Who's worried about being gay anymore? Dude, fuck Obama. He's a bitch. My dad's voting for McCain. Why would he vote for McCain? He's a fucking war hero. Maybe then we'll nut up and nuke the Middle East. Oh. Well, sorry, dude, but your dad sounds really fucking gay voting for McCain. What? No, no, you're gay! Eventful. They should make a game show where a guy eats everything in a vending machine. Aww. And if he loses, he's gotta, like, take his shirt off at the pool or something. I'm so dead. Then there's a bunch of hot girls in the pool laughing at his imperfections. Cam, what do I do? Okay, Ari, what is it? Wait, what? I didn't- Bitch, do not play this game with me. What game? I was just sitting here talking- Shut the fuck up, what is it? Okay, well, I'm supposed to be in physics right now, but there's this project due and I have literally nothing. Yeah, so... It's not the grade, the teacher's just gonna like yell at me in front of everybody. They do it because they care. Not because they're paid shitty and weren't smart enough to work at a university. You think their salary determines how smart they are? Isn't it just a number on paper? They think our grades determine how smart we are. Let's see how the fuck they like it. Okay, but that doesn't solve my problem. I've been here for the last 10 minutes and I can't think of any good excuse. Is it like a two day project or a three week project? Closer to three weeks. Huh, what's a problem that lasts more than three weeks? Could you pass for pregnant? I hope not. What works for me usually is saying I have depression, but you can't use that. Why not? Because I use that. If too many kids start saying it, it won't work anymore. All right, I'm just gonna go to class and get yelled at. This sucks. Or you could drop out and live in a methadone clinic. You didn't start depression, Nicole. I never said that, but I started using depression as an excuse at that school. No one was doing that before me, and now that she took it, everybody's gonna water it down. Do you feel like you're getting to a point where the excuses for not doing homework are more effort than the homework itself? I don't know, hold on. What's another mental disorder I could pull off? Quite a few. Yeah, but whatever I pick, I'll need to research at least a little, right? No, you don't. Mental illnesses are like horoscopes. You just look up symptoms that loosely fit your personality. Holy shit, where's my laptop? Oh, wait! Schizophrenia, good choice. No, I forgot to tell you what happened after the counselor. Ari came out of the closet to me in the middle of the hallway. Closet with a glass door? I thought everyone knew that. Yeah, that's what I said. She thought it was like this huge deal. Well, wouldn't it be? What if someone homophobic knew? Yeah, who? I don't know anyone at our school who wouldn't vote for Obama. Holy shit, I can't think of anyone either. This area is like so Democrat, you're just preaching to the choir. If you were my girlfriend, what would you do for me? I don't know, anything you want? Anything? Damn. So any depraved ass shit you're just down for? For you? Yeah. Could I choke you while we make out? If you want. 
Could I smack the shit out of you in public? Yes, please. Ah, self-esteem. Am I too desperate? No, not your self-esteem. My self-esteem is through the roof right now. How come? Because now that a girl wants me this bad, I'm like universally hot now. But you don't... Yeah, not really. Sorry. Not there yet. Oh. Look, you're probably better off. It doesn't feel like I'm better off. Speaking of off, you're not going to off yourself over this, are you? Because if you do, will you leave me your eye touch? Why the fuck would I give my eye touch to a girl rejecting me? Sorry, it works with guys. Never mind. Does this feel like a hole in your chest or what? I feel like I'm going to be alone forever. I don't know any girl who's gay here. You could find out. How? Sex to pick of yourself to every straight girl you know. One of them's bound to be in the closet. What? And if they're not? Worst case scenario, they forward it to their boyfriends. He'll text back like, haha, what an idiot, but the picture will absolutely go in the rotation. Rotation for what? Look, I gotta go. Just forget what I said. Good luck, excuse stealer. Bitch. I've heard what they're saying about you. Let's just say I know a place that can help you out. What could possibly help me out of this situation? I don't know, maybe the straight club? The straight club? Shh, it's on the DL, dude. What the hell is the straight club? Just a place for us straights, you know? A group to avoid bitches in the GSA for sure. If they're so proud of being gay, then we're proud of being straight. I gotta be dreaming right now. That good, huh? More like so incredibly fucking stupid, there's no way it's real. Oh, it's real all right, and you're invited. I feel so special. We couldn't get an official sponsor, but one teacher agreed to under the table sponsor us. Okay, so what teacher would under the table sponsor this? Greetings, fellow straights. I brought the movie, Nicole. Of course. No Is she already asleep? Ari? Ari! Why can't it be like the movies where they're just conveniently 10 feet from the door? It better be like the movies soon. When are they getting here? I think they went down to Woodbridge where the gas is cheap, so we maybe have a few minutes. The price is cheaper, but don't you burn that driving down there? It's not for their car. Oh yeah, to burn the house down. Drake and Josh is on. This better be good. What the fuck, still? Marathon. What do you want? It's almost 10. Is your family home? No, they're out of town. What the fuck do you want? You gotta get out of here. Someone's on the way to burn your house down. What? Who would set my house on fire? Coach Colby Straight Club. They're mad at the general idea of homosexuality and want to kill you for being gay. Yeah, so pretty serious. That sounds so made up, it's not even funny. You already rejected me. Now you want to prank me? She's not making it up there on the way. Why the hell would Nicole go out of her way to help anyone but herself? It doesn't make any sense. Because if you die, the school would indict me as the cause of the hate crime. You really got to get out of here. Why wouldn't I just call the police? So they can show up 10 minutes after you're dead? Okay, where's the camera? There's no fucking camera! No MTV, no Ashton Kutcher, no... The guy from Drumline? Come on! What do we have to do to prove we're not making this up? How should I know? I don't know, just anything she wouldn't do to pull off a prank? Uh, fine. Kiss me. Oh, easy. Not you, herpes fully loaded. I mean, Nicole has to kiss me. Why me? I thought you were mad at her. Oh, I am. I hate her. Nicole, you're a cold, corrupt, selfish, psychopathic bitch. Literally the most sadist fucking whore. I wouldn't be surprised if you like killing animals. Haven't tried. You don't even get mad at the assumption of that. You're severely twisted, evil, manipulative, and in general, just a heartless bitch. Doesn't mean I don't want you every waking moment of my sad fucking life. Excuse me? You show every sign of an abuser, and I don't give a shit. You're the kind of girl who'd choke me goodnight. The kind of girl who'd walk in on me cutting and take the razor blade and do it for me. I don't want a girlfriend to marry. I want a girlfriend who helps me plan my own suicide. You're that girl, Nicole, and I need you bad. Bitch, you need therapy. Okay, but she confessed her love for you. Are you gonna kiss her now? No way! Fuck this bitch! Why? She stole my excuse. I don't kiss depression posers. You are so petty. How else is she gonna believe this isn't a prank? My demand's final. We're here to save you right now. Shame that you hate being a homophobe more than I hate dying. Even if you're telling the truth, I don't care. You know what I want. Nicole, we lost five minutes doing this and she hasn't moved one inch from her house. Uh... What if we took you to the Super 8 and I kiss you in the lobby? The lobby? What am I, worthless? Do you want to hear yes? I'll get my shoes. No time, get in the car. <laughs>